Imagine a place where the desert meets the city and every sunrise brings a new adventure. Welcome to Las Vegas. Here, every sunrise brings a promise of adventure. Every street, a new story waiting to unfold. Las Vegas and the Grand Canyon is surely a place to visit at least once in a lifetime. Our journey began with a long flight from New York City to Nevada. The 2,500 miles distance leads us to a five hours flight along with a three hours difference in time zones. Las Vegas was incorporated in 1911 following the arrival of the San Pedro, Los Angeles, and Salt Lake Railroad, connecting the city with the Pacific and the country's main rail networks. Known for its gambling, shopping, entertainment, and nightlife, the city skyrocketed in recent years, resulting in the exponential gain in popularity, making it the sixth most visited city in the United States directly after New York City, Miami, Los Angeles, Orlando, and San Francisco. It is also worth noting that the city became the top three destination in the United States for business conventions after over 2.9 million tourists visited the city as of 2019. In 1941, a section of Highway US 91 was opened just outside the city, followed by other hotels and casinos, which is a section of the highway today became widely known as the Strip. Located in Clark County, Nevada, the Strip consists of many luxurious hotels and casinos, some of which are the Caesars Palace, opened in 1966, the Venetian, the Mirage, and the Treasure Island, where we decided to stay for the next couple of days. On top of that, in 2018, a mega-project known as The Sphere was announced by the Madison Square Garden Company and was opened to the public in 2023. This massive arena with a capacity of over 18,000 seats is valued at a whopping $2.3 billion due to its high-end technologies making by far the most expensive entertainment venue built in Las Vegas, beating its previous record held by the $1.9 billion Allegiant Stadium. We first have to visit a neighboring state in order to reach our first destination. Welcome to Arizona. According to the National Park Service, the Horseshoe Bend has become one of the most recognized and visited places. It has been featured as a landmark in Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. Our next destination was Lower Antelope Canyon. Unfortunate for us, we were prohibited to take any video inside of the canyon by the local tribe who owns the land. The next day we strolled around a mall inside of Venetian Resort, which was unlike anything we've ever seen before. As the name implies, the interior of the Grand Canal shops is made to resemble the actual Grand Canal located in the city of Venice, Italy.
There's something about this strip that makes walking feels different from any other streets. The sidewalks, eye-catching street performers, the atmosphere, you name it. Despite the heat, I often find myself caught up in the infectious enthusiasm of the crowd, feeling as though I'm part of something truly special. By night, the bright lights of Vegas flicker to life as the city awakens. <laughs> Las Vegas becomes a tapestry of light and sound, where the ordinary melts away and the extraordinary takes center stage. There is no doubt everyone has seen this insanely popular sign by now. As I say goodbye to the neon lights and the desert, I carry with me an unforgettable experiences and memories crafted in the city of wonder. Until my next visit, Las Vegas will remain a treasured part of my story. I hope this video serves as a reminder that there are many places around us waiting to be explored.